Hi and welcome to the session. Hi and welcome to the session. I'm Kanika and I'm going to help you to solve the following question. The question says, give the geometric representation of y is equal to 3 as an equation in one variable and second part is in two variables. Let's now start the solution. In the first part, we have to give the geometrical representation of y is equal to 3 in one variable. Now the equation y is equal to 3 has a unique solution, 3. is a point on the number line. So let's now represent this equation on the number line. This is the number line. We have marked the positive numbers to the right of the region and negative numbers to the left of the region. Now this point is representing y is equal to 3. So this is the required geometrical representation of y is equal to 3 when it is treated as an equation in one variable. In part we have to give the geometrical representation of y is equal to 3 in two variables. The equation y is equal to 3 can be written as zero into x plus y is equal to three. Right. Now this is the equation in two variables. We can give any value to x since 0 dot x is always equal to 0. But y must satisfy the equation y is equal to 3. So this implies that this equation has infinitely many solutions. And every solution... is of the form R3 where R is any real number. solutions of the given equation are x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3 and x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 3. Let's now represent the solution on the graph. We have drawn the two coordinate axes x and y. These two axes are perpendicular to each other and the point of intersection of these two axes is the origin. At the origin, both the ordinate and the abscissa is 0. Now the two solutions which we have found out is x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3 and x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 3. Let's first plot the first solution. Now the first solution is when x is equal to 0 
then y is equal to 3. This means this is the required point 0, 3. And the second solution is when x is equal to minus 1, then y is equal to 3. Now this is the required point minus 1, 3. Now we will join these two points by a straight line. This line is representing the equation y is equal to 3. This is the required geometrical representation of y is equal to 3 when this is treated as an equation in two variables. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.